guys, you're watching Scuff TV. Today on Scuff, we head to Newcastle to catch up with one of the most exciting surfers on the planet, Craig Anderson. With the release of Kai Neville's Cluster on March 17th, we thought it'd be cool to hear Craig's vibe on the movie and give us a bit more of an insight into his travels that helped him form his section of the movie. So here it is, a Seize the Dry production, all brought to you by Carlton Dry, right here on Scuff. Just with technology now, you can just jump online and like you can just see swell maps and charts and like yeah, it's crazy how kind of easy it is just to pick up, throw everything in a board bag and you're just on your way. It's pretty surreal having a career as a free surfer and the last couple of years has been just been so fortunate working with a bunch of creative guys super psyched to work with Kai Neville and his whole production team just because I've been a big fan of their work for a long time. Spent probably like just over a year working on Cluster. It's just like a fun surf film. Like it's everyone hanging out, like going on surf trips, like all the bullshit that comes with it, like just kind of takes it back to like the fun part of surfing and just like, I don't know, like the raw kind of vibe. Traveled pretty much like 98% of the year working on um, working on that film. Spent a lot of time in Indonesia, a bit of time in the Pacific, a lot of time just around Australia and like down the south coast. It's cool checking out new places, and I feel like the, the the more you go like off the beaten path and you like travel hours and hours, like obviously the less people there are around. I feel like Australia's got some of the best waves in the world. I had like a, a, a weird transition after school because I, I was kind of competing when I was 18, 19, 20, like back end of the junior series and I never went any good. I'd like get lucky here and then, like get a couple of okay results. Free surfing and what, um, what I've done for the last couple of years, it's always been pretty sp sporadic and like spontaneous and it's just kind of you make it up as you go along and like sometimes you fail and it's like hilarious with if you're with the right bunch of people. But yeah we always do try like travel and spend a fair bit of time in one place, explore what the place has to offer and hang out with the people that live there and I don't know experience their way of life because you go to some pretty radical places where it's pretty mind-blowing how secluded and like all through Indonesia and South Africa and oh, India, I've spent a fair bit of time there. It's just crazy how, how different it is to the world that we're used to. I like coming home, for sure. I've got a lot of good friends and family that live here in Newcastle. There's a lot of good guys that surf at Merriweather. So it's like a pretty inspiring place to surf. But I'm always like pretty antsy, like it's so easy to just jump on a flight. There's waves around the world all the time. The next 12 months I have really no idea of where I'm going or what I'm going to be up to, but I'm just going to keep surfing, keep chasing good waves and uh, I guess that's the beauty of free surfing. Yeah man, ride the fucking barrel and drink cold and dry.